Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again. We are going to be jumping in and doing our first challenge today. We do have the visible challenge unlocked so we can see what everything gives us. There is quite a lot for us to go out already and of course so many modded challenges as well. I mean it's actually insane how many modded challenges we've got to go at. But we have to prioritize what we want to unlock here. So based on what we, we've got here, Highbrow is obviously a really good one for the Yarrow Rune. The Solar System Perthor Rune is pretty good. Cards Against Humanity is honestly uh, a card I absolutely love too. Um, Burnt Penny's good. Death's Touch is good. Tech Point Five is good. Um, the the Scatman, yeah, Dirty Mind is good. But I think we're gonna go for the Perthor Rune to start out. Perthor and Yera should be ones that we grab early on. So let's do the Solar System this time around. It has been an astronomically long time since I last did um, since I last did anything to do with any of the challenges. So I gotta say I barely remember what this one is. This one is the one where we just have the orbitals. So we want to be getting as many orbitals as we can really here. Of course, we'll take our Christmas gifts to give us a little bit of a boost early on. Why not? Uh, Hermit card here could be good. Ooh, um, I think we're gonna go with a snake. Yes. Take the snake on for us here. We do have flights we can get in here a bit easier. And I do have a, an exit strategy. Which unfortunately we didn't get anything out of that. But there you go. Um, the Enigma uh, Blessing is granting us the randomizing items here. We probably want to take the Mended Knife if possible in there. But yeah, having the snake, really, really, really good get. Because now we have an alternate way to deal damage. This challenge is notoriously one of the more difficult ones early game. Uh, because... It relies on the use of orbitals, and orbitals did get a nerf with Repentance as a whole. So they're not quite as good. They don't tick for damage as often as they used to. So there is still some problems and issues with playing orbitals. So we'll, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I'm not going to take pills here. I really don't want any speed downs or anything. I realize tears down aren't as bad, but I really don't want any speed downs or anything like that. And I don't think we have treasure rooms here. If I'm understanding this right. I don't think we have treasure rooms. Which is why the snake itself is such... Yeah, we don't. The snake itself is such an insanely good pickup. And like I said, I did get it from the Christmas present thing. Which might, might be a little bit cheaty, but... I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Crack that open. I might as well open that up. And we get a full card, which is another exit of a cash room, so... I do not mind it. It looks like we're not going to get enough money to go for that. Um, can we destroy poops at all? We can't. We're not going to get enough money to go for the um, mended knife, but eh, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, these these challenges obviously are going to end up normally being uh, a little quicker than a regular video. This one maybe not so much because this one goes all the way to mum's heart, but some of them only go to mum's foot. And also thumbnail wise, I'm really not sure how to thumbnail them because technically we are playing as Isaac, but like... I don't know. Kind of, not really. <laughs> um, so I think, honestly, all of these aren't very good for us, but I'm going to take the White Rose because it gives us the ability to shoot for a brief time, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, not that the tier rate up does anything for us, but hey her. Um, we'll go into the next one. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, hmm. I'm just going to keep it basic. What have you been up to over the past week? What's been your goal? over the past week. Or what's going to be your New Year's resolution? That's a better one. What's your New Year's resolution? S just scrap that first one. That first one was crap. What's your New Year's resolution? That would be rather intriguing to know. I'm sure some people have um, a lot of different ones. Mine, I've got two big ones. One of them is the fucking classic that everyone has and no one sticks to. Lose some weight. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I'm I'm reasonably committed, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hopefully... Uh, stick to that throughout the year, or at least most of the year, and try and lose a little bit of my heft while we are getting lucky with the Soul Hearts. By the way, I did go into the um, options of the uh, double Soul Heart mod and reduce the chances of it spawning to make it a little more balanced. I w it went from a 5% chance to replace a Soul Heart to a 2.5%. So they're still going to show up every now and again, but they're not going to be quite as common as we've been seeing them, because I, I just felt that they were too common. We were getting them way too often. Um, oh my god, that was a good hit blended heart there. Honestly, the snake is is doing everything for us. We are getting so lucky right now with soul heart drops. What on earth is actually going on? 
good, good. Um, yeah, and then my other one is just to put more effort into the channel. Uh, not that I don't put a lot of effort in already. Of course, I do daily Isaac series along with other games too. But hit, hitting 10k subs, it's a big milestone. I want to, uh, I want to make sure that I keep keep on the grind and and put a bit more effort in. So I'm going to be bringing some old series back as well as um, bringing some new series in and just increasing the regularity of some of the series we already have. Um, just just because I want to. I want to put in that extra effort. I want to try out things. Uh, See so what we can get done. Um, I want to go to my cash room over there that I for some reason didn't go to before. Also, keys, honestly, we can just use at shops now. Thank you. What we're really looking for here is more orbitals. The more orbitals we can get, the better. And here we get a whole lot of nothing. Unfortunate. Hey, mini bosses are great. Give us Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom would be insane. Come on, fella. Damn it, no Mr. Boom. But we did get a good amount of bombs there. Our bombs are sitting very, very pretty. But yeah, of course, people's um, news resolution, most people drop it within about a week. But it's always interesting to hear which ones people have. Because they do, they do very much differ from person to person. You can get some ones that are pretty out there, pretty different. Obviously, there's the really common ones like weight loss and stuff. But it's interesting to hear what people have. Um, and it's interesting to hear how many people end up sticking to them as well. I mean, the, it, it's kind of an interesting thing. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> you see my damage? I got a mod just recently that makes it so that all the transformations have additional effects. They're all a bit more interesting. And we are currently Beelzebub. And Beelzebub, the closer you are to a poop, the higher your damage. So... In a short proximity, 0 0.3, 0 0.9, all the way up to a 3 damage up while standing right next to a poop. Really, really cool little addition to Beelzebub. It doesn't do too much for the uh, the guy that we're playing as right now, uh, but generally a pretty pretty useful thing. Oh, God. Gotcha, and oh my goodness. I'm going to check Devil Deal because there is a few good orbitals in there. Wow, thanks for that. Um, honestly... All of these are really good, I'll be honest. De Demonic Talisman is going to kill an enemy pair room for us. I think I'm going to take that. And then Tiny Brim is a bit of a protection as well as being able to shoot um, like brimstones at enemies. But yeah, Demonic Talisman's pretty good here. One second. Boom, bow. Sorry about that. Right. Uh, we can't go in there this time. We do have all these golden hearts to play around with, so we've got a lot of money in tow. But yeah, basically, when an enemy pops up, we go like that. Free kill every single room. Guaranteed. Oh, wait, what the hell? What the? Oh, we got uh, Cast in the Maze. I was like, how, how are we here? What happened? Yet more HP that's just lying on the floor. But yeah, if we can get enemies to shoot our tiny Krampus... He will fire some brimstone beams eventually. He's he's honestly not that powerful. He's not that great. But I don't mind him. He's he's a good lad. He's a good lad. Ooh, do not like that. The good the one thing we do have to be careful of is we need to make sure we don't accidentally use the demonic talisman at the wrong time. Otherwise, it will pop out the reward that it gives, um, and we don't want that. Because then it'll stop being able to kill enemies. Our health is very healthy right now. We also want to make sure it always actually grabs an enemy. And here, Nun's Habit doesn't do anything for us, really, but we've got the money to buy it, so why the hell not? We might get a different active later down the line here. Hey, also, killing an enemy like that means that it doesn't split into more enemies, which is cool. Oh, God. I love my snake. And as you, as you can see, the Doric Talisman does change color as we, uh, as we get more and more kills with it. And that is basically um, denoting what level of reward we will get when we actually use it outside of combat. Now, because of the way the floors are laid out, we don't actually need to clear every room here, which is very nice. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. I'm mainly using the red orbital because it just does so much more damage than the blue one. But if I can get the blue one in there, I will. Right, you should be pretty much dead. There you go. Not too much damage received. Did pretty good. And we get that as well, which I don't know if actual damage does anything for us. But I suppose if we get anything that generates blue flies, we'll be happy to have more damage. 
Um, we got Enigma again. Wow, we're getting lucky with that. Maybe I, maybe I can turn that down a little bit. One second. Um, go over to just some blessings. Possibility to two. Just turn that down a little bit. I like the blessings. I think they're a good addition to the game. But I don't want to feel like they're something that's making the game easier. I feel like we've got a kind of an interesting balance at the moment between easier and harder. I feel like there's... With Fiend Folio and some of the other things and the, the enemy rebalances and stuff, we do have some things that make the game harder. But then stuff like the double soul hearts and stuff do make the game easier. So we've got kind of a back and forth. And I'm just trying to get to the point where a, a pretty good balance of those things. Because I, I I do want... Is that a Tinted Rock there? It is. There was a Tinted Rock. I, I, do, I do want... Um, ooh, Sensor would be amazing. We'll take Sensor. Um... I do want the game to be a little harder, but I don't want to not install interesting mods because they make the game a bit easier, if you know what I mean. Um, there's definitely ways in which I can add difficulty to myself. Like in the last series, you guys probably saw that I never used um, the shop uh, donation machine. I never ever bombed a donation machine. I just refused to because I found it quite... I didn't find it cheaty, but I found it just... It, it led to a lot of situations of being able to buy items that I shouldn't be able to buy with little to no risk to me whatsoever. Um, and so I, I generally don't use that too much because I feel like the shops can be very powerful. But there is other things like the Christmas guy at the start um, and the, the blessings and the double soul hearts that can make the game easier. So it's it's kind of a balancing act between the two. Um, ooh, electric dice. That could be insanely good with this. Is there any way that I can... Destroy the poops to get some pennies here. There is another penny in here, apparently. There it was. Give us one penny. Beautiful. Right. I don't know if electric dice will work with this, but if it does, it will be insane. It will be really good. Hmm... You bastard. <laughs> Curse of Enigma got me, but... Uh, by the way, I took a sip of my drink right as that happened. That's kind of how I went, mm. <laughs> That was really annoying. But... It gave us friend zone, which is actually not a bad item for this challenge whatsoever. So... Eh. Hey, her. <laughs> I'll take that as a win, personally, because I think that... Honestly, friendzone might be better for us. Oh shit, I was like, why are these enemies dying? But then I realized it's because we've uh, got them charmed. Yeah, so now we have two flies on the outer edge that move at very similar speeds. So our damage at like range is a little bit better now. So many soul hearts, what is going on? It's kind of wacky. There's a little, little fella doing his thing. Yeah, we've got those two flies in him now, look, from a distance. Took a bit of damage I should have taken there, but it's okay. And we get stem cell or something random. I think I'm going to take the stem cell, just in case. I need the HP anyways. Based on our HP, though, I feel like this challenge is going to be quite a cakewalk. I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue. Judgment and... Judgment. Lovely. I realize we're losing out on money when we walk out like that, but it is what it is. Okay. Oh, I did not know you could do that. I'm sure to kill you. Seems easier. <laughs> it was easier. Thank you. Okay, you're going to pop out uh, a little ghosty fella. But yeah, today is New Year's Eve for me. So I am rearing up ready to uh, go out for a New Year's party. I'm looking forward to it a lot. I'm going to um, one of the guys I work with's house. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it a lot. It's... It's always like, because a lot of the time, I, uh, I'm i the one that hosts the New Year's parties for me and my friends. So it's, it's kind of nice to go to one that someone else is hosting and meet a bunch of new people. Because uh, I'll only know him and his girlfriend there. Everyone else is going to be new people. So it's kind of one of those things where I'm not generally a very social person. But if I've like got 
plenty of warning and preparation for it, and I know it's coming. I actually really do enjoy social occasions like this, um, and this is one such occasion I'm fully aware that, um, that we're going to be meeting up with people. I'm fully aware that I'm going to be spending most of the night um, out meeting pe new people and stuff. So in that situation, I'm, I'm like really down for it. It's always when like, it's it, like, for example, um, the, just, just last night, um, our friend wanted to meet up for drinks, but it was kind of like a spare of the moment thing. And while I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed meeting up with them, it was not a bad thing at all. It's, I always find those social situations a little more difficult for myself to like want to go through because I kind of, I wasn't able to prepare myself for that. I was like planning on just having a quiet night in, record some videos and um, play some Elden Ring or whatever, but then that gets sprung on me and I'm kind of like, it kind of throws me out of whack. And I'm like, oh shit, now I have to do something, now I have to be social like unexpectedly. And I don't know what it is about it, but it's, it's always a bit of a funny thing for me. I always find it a little bit difficult. If, like, like I said, it's not like I don't enjoy it when I end up going out. Um, it just, it can be a little hard for me to sort of want to, but when I'm actually there, it's fine sort of thing. Um, I guess we'll take that. Wait, I'm confused. I'm very confused. I am incredibly confused. I have just realized some peculiar events that are happening right now. I don't have Ipecac installed. So where the hell the foiled strength come from? In fact, where did Demonic Talisman come from? And where did Tiny Krampus come from? They are Ipecac items. I don't have Ipecac installed. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Wait one beggar flipping second. What the hell is going on? <laughs> where did these items come from? What's happening here? I don't have that mod installed anymore. I must not have uninstalled it. Let me go and check. I swear that I did. I swear that I uninstalled it. Ipica. I did not. <laughs> I have lied to you all. I did not uninstall it. I am stupid. Okay. Well, it seems to be working fine, actually, so... There you go, I guess. Me a stupid. Me a stupid. Right. What does this do? Foil strength. I think it just gave me double the strength effect. Ow. You're a big boy, aren't you? This guy is really tricky for us, to be honest. I'm just going to ignore the big spiders for now. Deal with them when it comes to it. Um, Bag of Bobbies is pretty decent here. I think I'll leave it at that. Right, let's go. One sec. Okay, let's go. I'm just speaking with the developer of Ipecac, trying to work out some of the issues I've been having. Trying to help them fix things. Eat one of you. Get destroyed. You can lob things at me all you want. It's not going to help. Um, do you actually need to open all of these? Because that would be kind of annoying if you do. Okay, no, you don't. Good. I was going to say, that would be that would be a little annoying. I do actually have a, a way to shoot now. Wait. Hmm. I'm confused. Why am I shooting? Like, I am actually the one shooting here. Something shooting from my face. I don't know what. Because I thought I was like, oh, brother, brother Bobby, bag. Oh, it's it's stem cells. It's stem cells. Okay, that's fine. We got this thing up to gold. I don't know if gold is the last tier. But yeah, I should be holding down the fire button to be honest. Um, I think we'll leave that as is. Grab some spare bomberoonies. And then we get a dime here as well. Lovely. Lovely little dime. Well, yeah, we've actually got a method of firing. And then the bag of bobbies should further grow that method of firing to even more. We can actually take stuff out from a distance now. We've circumvented this challenge. 
Unfortunately, we can't pick what target the um, demonic talisman will pick. It would be nice if we could. We cannot. Um, there's an enemy left in this room, and I'm not quite, quite sure where. Oh, I see. There's quite a few enemies left, apparently. I see you there. Cursed Eye. Oh, baby. I, I literally don't think that does anything for us. And just in case it can still teleport us, I'm just going to say no. Did not mean to open that, but whatever. Smooth stone. Kind of lovely. Extra bomb there. There is some hearts on the floor here, so we might as well play into this guy. It didn't give us anything, unfortunately. There's one more heart outside the door. There you go. That's actually a really good item for us, to be honest. A nice, hefty speed upgrade. Very, very welcome for uh, navigating around. Yeah, I'm not sure. This might be the last level of the Demon Talisman, because uh, it being gold makes me think it is. But there might be like a platinum after this or something. You never know. Gold's normally sort of the maximum, but... I'll, I'll keep playing with it because I like, for one, I doubt whatever reward it gives me is going to be better than a one free kill a room. I think right now being able to kill a, a free enemy every room is pretty fantastic. Works very well with the setup. Tinted Rock, I see you. Good, good. We've been basically full health this entire thing as well, which has been very nice. Yeah, this is the mum fight. We're, we've we've ploughed through this, to be honest. 20 minutes, we're, we're doing well. We've only got the wound flaws after this. Now, in some of the episodes where we do the challenges that only go to mum, especially if the episode ends up being, like, under 25 minutes, I might do two challenges in one video. Please do let me know if you'd prefer them in single videos or if you're okay with multiple challenges in one video. Basically, any video that's under, sort of, 25 minutes, I always feel a bit bad about. Um, I feel like... You guys kind of sub for the long form content and kind of most of the time expect a full run. And so uploading a video that's really, really short is always a bit sad. I mean, I did that meme one with the Dad's Home Plus where I finished it in like three minutes and everyone was upset. <laughs> so I thought it was a funny meme, but no one liked it, which is fair. Um, Whipping cream, lovely. And then if we would care to do Boss Rush... There's a few things in here that are okay, but nothing really that I want to take. Right, onto the womb. Onto the womb. We'll just have to see if we end up going the right way here. Oh, I've only got one key, so I'm not going to bother, gonna bother with those. Yeah, it's kind of always a bit random which one the talisman goes for, because sometimes it'll go for like, the closest enemy to you, sometimes it won't. But you see there... Enemies like that, huge enemies that are massive problems. It's just like, nah, I don't care. Honestly, as well, Nun's Habit's been pretty decent with this. I wonder if it can uh, get one of those enemies that's uh, got the invincibility on it. What? Oh my god, those enemies are really tricky for this character. That's another thing. A lot of these challenges aren't designed with Fiend Folio in mind. So there's going to be some tricky situations with some of them. And there's going to be others that are significantly easier because of it. It's interesting. Okay. We have lost a lot of health on this floor. But let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out. Again, another boss that's not actually very easy for us. Oh, thank you, baby Krampus, for the double. The double. The first time I've ever seen him be that useful. That is... That is splendid. That is actually splendid. Um, and then, unfortunately, neither of those are very good. In fact, though, I will take the Void Bombs, because they can be very good. I think that's a decent one to pick up. Right. Let's see how we go here. 
I'll probably use the Demonic Talisman just before the Mum fight, just to see what we end up getting. It'll probably be some health and like one or two items, with it being as high level as it is. Like I said, I don't know if it's max level yet, but it's, it must be close. Now these enemies are pretty tricky for us. I never considered how difficult these guys would be. Not too bad though. Ah, oh, I wasted my talisman there. Fortunately. Oh, no, I got him. I got him. I thought that they were going to get away before I could manage it, but... We are getting a bit low on the HP side of things here. I wouldn't say very low, but like a little lower than I'd like to see it. Um, so we can hopefully regain some of that back. Luckily, to kill these enemies, we have no reason to... Uh, break the poops and no ability to break the poops in fact so these little tykes can't get from behind their walls which is rather nice for us right okay monstro could be a little tricky luckily it's not been too bad Hug for a soul heart, maybe? Ah, double red heart's pretty good, but not really what we're looking for. Eh, heck. Okay, snake boy. Honestly, the snake guy, he has been our saving grace. He really has. Taking things out when we can't be asked. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Grab you as well. I used my talisman, but it didn't affect anything because it's just bosses in here. I think this is the time for a bomb. Uh, oh, the bombs don't work correctly. One second. Yeah, them bombs do not work how they're supposed to. Let's see if that generated an error. Um, no, but there is a lot of errors in the console. Normally, when you've got this many errors... That's basically because some other mod is causing an error, which is likely the Ipecac mod, unfortunately. Like I said, there's some... So at the minute, there's a bug with Isaac where if you get one error, it causes other mods to error. So that could be why that's not working. So do, do not judge that... Um, do not judge the Void Bombs unfairly because they should be leaving a black ring. Like from a Thame. They should be leaving one of those black rings when we bomb. And they're not... Also, these enemies are no longer firing. There's a lot of crazy stuff going down now. Right. I was going to say let's pop our space bar, but it's not working. So maybe it isn't. Maybe it's also broken. And it only works. Um, it only works for killing enemies, which I'm not super displeased about. This is going to be probably our roughest challenge now, because. Basically, we're going to be almost entirely relying on the snake. And on top of that, we have to deal with the sensor, which is good in some situations, bad in others. Unfortunately, this is one of the situations where it's pretty bad. So what I think we're going to do is, I think we're going to entirely rely on bombs. And take her out exclusively with bombs. Which I think is more than plausible. In fact, it's seemingly very, very easy right now. <laughs> So, that is this challenge completed. Dunzo. Very lovely. As I said, I apologise the videos are a bit shorter, but I think this one's okay to leave as a standalone. And we did it. We did decently on this challenge. It was okay. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.